Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to apply Hygiseal in joints of curbs. What do you need? Hygiseal tape, Hygiseal, an extrusion gun, manual, battery driven or pneumatic, a smoothing tool, and joint finishing liquid. Before we can fill the joint, we need to apply Hygiseal tape. This will create a nice straight joint. For the top joint, the placement of the tape depends on the thickness of the top of the curb and the width of the joint. For the polystocleno curbs with a top width of 10 mm, this will be approximately 12 mm from the wall on the curb and approximately 15 mm above the curb on the wall. For the polysto stainless steel curbs with a top width of 3 mm, this will be approximately 8 mm from the wall on the curb and approximately 10 mm above the curb on the wall. On the vertical joints, the tape is applied on both sides, approximately 2 mm from the joint. With this we will create an overlap which results in a stronger joint. Take a Hygiseal cartridge and remove the seal with for example a cutting plier or a pincer. Load the cartridge into the extrusion tool and put the nozzle on top of it. After you screw the extrusion gun shut, put the cartridge under slight pressure, enough to fix the nozzle in place. Cut the nozzle at a slight angle so that you obtain a nozzle opening of approximately 10 mm. Start to apply the Hygiseal in the vertical joints and make sure they are well filled and not too much extra is extruded. When the vertical joints are filled, the smoothing can be done. Spray joint finishing liquid only on the smoothing tool and your hands to prevent excess hydroseal from sticking to it. Spraying joint finishing liquid on the joint in this stage can give issues in the future. The liquid prevents a good adhesion on the Hygiseal in the places that are not yet covered with it. With the straight side of a smoothing tool, you remove the excess Hygiseal from the joint and create an even joint over the entire length. Place the tool at an angle of 45 degrees and apply just enough pressure so that a little Hygiseal remains on the tape. By smoothing under this angle, you press the Hygiseal into the joint. Don't work too fast, because then you will pull the Hygiseal out of the joint and you will create hollow and weak joints. You can smooth the same area several times to ensure that you get the desired result. Avoid building up too much excess Hygiseal on the tool. This will fall and cause unnecessary cleaning. Now the horizontal top joint can be done. Apply sufficient Hygiseal. Spray joint finishing liquid only on the smoothing tool and your hands. Place the smoothing tool with the rounded side at the beginning of the joint so that the space between the tapes will be completely covered. 
don't work too fast because then you will pull the hydro seal out of the joint and it will look not smooth. Avoid building up too much excess hydro seal on the tool. You can smooth the same area several times to ensure that you get the desired result. When the step is finished and the result looks smooth, it is time to remove the tape. Now we can remove the tape by pulling the tape towards the joint. This means that the right tape is pulled to the left and the left tape to the right. By doing it this way, it gives the best result. Spray joint finishing liquid on the joint and your hands and smooth the hydro seal edges in short strokes on the vertical joints with your thumb by putting a very light pressure on it. The horizontal joint can be done in long strokes. Now the joint should look flush and smooth. And this is how you apply hydro seal in joints of curbs. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you for our next tutorial.